Hi, this is Kevin with Naples Lawn Service, and we're going to talk about doing the oil change and replacing the filter on your John Deere 3025E. Okay, so the first thing is getting the hood open. Just take your key out of your ignition and just stick it in this little thing right here. Pop! That's going to pop your hood, and your hood's going to come open. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is take off this panel, which uh, I have right here. I already took it off. This panel right here goes on here and all you do is untwist this yellow and this yellow quarter turns and then wiggle wiggle it off it's going to come right off like that okay next thing you're going to do is pull the plug get your plugs under here it's right here i already pulled it but uh it goes under here right here okay so you pull your plug, your oil is going to drain, and then you're going to take your filter off. Now a good little thing to get your filter off, you can go pick up one of these little black things, the auto parts store, it's a little filter grabber, and then you just hook it right onto the end of a 3 8 ratchet, like that, and put it in there, and you can actually crank that filter right on off there very easily. Uh, other oil filter wrenches don't work that great, but this one works works great. So this is a good little tip right here for you. We'll pick that up. Pop your filter off. Drain your oil. Should be about four and a half quarts in there. All right. Here's your oil fill right here. That's where we're going to fill it back up. And what I'm using is what they recommend, which is this plus 50, plus 52. 1540 and so that's in the owner's manual is the most recommended oil so that's what we're using four and a half quarts of that now your oil filter is a little something different when you do it for the first time you're going to end up with a bigger filter coming off and then they tell you to put on this one right here m806419 well as you can see it's different sizes that one's narrower filter okay this one's bigger so the oil filter that came off here is a yanmar and it's a little bit bigger than your regular john deere they recommend m o m eight o six four nineteen is what they recommend this one's smaller than your original so i researched it on the internet a lot of guys everybody said the same thing so anyway this is what john deere says to put on there that's what we're going to put on and this bigger one, I thought that wasn't a John Deere. I'm pretty sure it was Yanmar, so it probably came on the engine all the way from Japan. Okay, so we're going to put on this one. So you just put on a little bit of oil around that seal there. Always get some oil and put it on that seal so it goes on nice. And then we're going to screw it on. Okay, so make sure there's plenty of oil on that seal there. And then you just screw that back on. Right here. You don't want to cross thread it, so make sure it goes on nice and easy. Now you just put these on hand tight. I don't use the wrench to put them on, just the wrench to take them off. Just make sure it's good, hand tight. Okay, then you're going to put your bolt back in. This is a number 17 socket right here, and that's what we're going to use to put the bolt back in. Okay, you got the plug in, you got the filter back on, used the rag and cleaned it up a little bit. Make sure you don't have any extra, extra oil on that frame so you don't get confused as whether or not you got a leak. And then we're going to fill it up. Okay, so we put in four and a half quarts of that oil. And I started up and ran it for 10 seconds just to make sure the oil got filled back, oil filter got filled back up also, because that changes the accuracy of your dipstick. So I ran it for 10 seconds, and now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in the other half quart of oil and check it on the gauge. Okay, so I put in that last quart, and this is where you check it, right here. This is your dipstick, and as you can see it is full it's so clean but your full mark is right here at the end of my finger now and that's it it's full of oil and ready to go so for this 3025e tractor they recommend changing that oil every 200 hours or once a year so 
we're good to go. Okay, so we just slid this panel back in here. You got to kind of lift back on these hydraulic lines to slip that panel down in there. And then once it goes in, you just go ahead and give it a quarter turn on your, your yellow things like that. And then this one actually goes a different direction, but like that. Okay, and that secures your side panel, and then you close up your lid, and you're done. So that's our video for today. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, i got a lot more stuff coming out on these John Deere 3025Es.